All right, welcome back, guys. And today we're going to learn something about multiples of 10. And multiples of 10 are going to help set up some, some information that helps us later down the road. But they're actually really important skills that we need to know. And we're going to multiply by 10, 100, and 1,000 right now. So if I wanted to find 25 times 10, I am what I'm saying is 25 times 110 is 25 tens. And here I got this 25 times 10. And I don't know if you notice, I have these red zeros. And what can you notice between what I'm doing here and what I'm doing here? And so I'm going to plug this in here. I have 250. Okay. And then if I do it by 100, 25 times 100 is 25 hundreds. And so I don't know if you notice here, I have the two, uh, I have that 25 again. And then I have these two zeros and the two zeros um, and I want you to be observing a pattern here let's say I go 25 times a thousand well if I if I do that I have 25 thousands and you can see the front number is the same and you can see I have three zeros so 25 thousand and are you observing a pattern here it seems to me that I always keep the number I'm multiplying but I add the number of zeros that um, were in the number, like the 10, there's one zero. So I seem to add this one zero right here. And with these hundred, I add, seem to add these two zeros. And with the thousands, I seem to add these three zeros. There's a pattern going here. Well, I'm going to get you to try and see if you can figure this one out. So I have 16 times 10, 34 times 100, and 52 times 1,000. You might not have a place value chart like this, but you can just write it down. So pause it and come back when you're ready. So as I was kind of saying, we seem to take the number that we were using and then adding the one zero. So that'd be 160. 160. And here again, I have that 34. I'm going to keep that 34, but I'm going to add the number of zeros, two zeros, 3,400. And here I'm going to keep that 52, and I'm going to add the three zeros that were given to me, and I have 52,000. So simply keep the number you were multiplying and count how many zeros there are. Now, sometimes it's not as quite as simple as that. We can use something called basic facts and place value patterns to multiply by multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000. So let's say I need to know 3 times 60. Well, we know that 3 times 6 is 18. And 3 times 6 tens is 18 tens. And I don't know if you notice here now, I've got the numbers backwards. I have highlighted, we're going to multiply this 3 and the 6 and we're going to keep the zero. So whatever three times six plus a zero. Another way of thinking about it is we can break this up that three times 60 is really three times six times 10. And if we do uh, our order of operations, three times six is 18, 18 times 10. Hey, this is what we just did last time is 180. So there's kind of two ways of thinking about it. You can either break apart the 60 or you can multiply the front numbers and then just add the zero. Here's another one. Three times 600. So again, we're, we're in this situation, we're multiplying the first two numbers, adding the number of zeros. Okay. Or again, if you want to break it up, three times six, breaking this up, by the way, three times six times 100, 18 times 100. It's kind of what we were just doing there. And then lastly, we're going to do it by a thousand and we still know that three times six is 18. We still use that three times six is 18 and we add the number of zeros. And this is a mistake. That should be that. Um, or here again, we're breaking this up three times six times a thousand because we broke up the six times a thousand, 18 times a thousand, which is 18,000. I'm going to get you to try this one. 5 times 50, 8 times 300, and 7 times 2,000. Remember, we multiply the front two numbers, add the number of zeros, or we break up the 50, 300, and 2,000 and work from there. Pause it, come back when you're ready. I'm going to divide this page in half because there's two methods. So here, 5 times 5 is 25, add the one zero. If you think about it the other way, five times five times 10, 
we know that this is 25 and I multiply that by 10, that's the 250 that we did in the previous part. Um, 8 times 300, 8 times 3 is 24 and add the number of zeros. Or if you want to think of it the other way, 8 times 3 times 100. And I'm going to multiply this, 24 times 100, which is 2,400. And this is showing my work, by the way. One way I'm doing it in my head, the other way I'm showing my work. Uh, 7 times 2 is 14. Add the number of zeros, 3 zeros, 14,000 is the answer. Or if you want to do it the other way, 7 times 2 times 1,000. 7 times 2 is 14 times 1,000 equals 14,000. Now, sometimes we get questions that both of them have zeros, and so we can use what we know to do that as well. So if I had 20 times 30, I can do 2 tens times 30 equals 60 tens, and really the pattern that seems to happen is I'm going to multiply the numbers in front and add the number of zeros. So that zero and this zero make the two zeros. So 20 times 30 is really 600. Or again, if you want to break it up, we have 2 times 10 times 3 times um, 3 times 10, and we can move the tens over as we can see here. So 6 times 100 equals 600. And this kind of repeats this pattern. So again, we're multiplying front numbers add one two three zeros here's now the, the interesting about this one about is that five times four is 20 but I gotta remember to add the three zeros I counted three zeros so the answer is really 20,000 okay or if you want to again break up these five times a hundred or times four times ten we can do that as well I need you to try this one five times sixty 80 times 50 and 500 times 200. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so five times 60, I'm gonna multiply five times six is 30. This is important. There is a zero in that answer. I still gotta remember to add that zero. So 300 is that one. If the other way was five times six times 10, 5 times 6 is 30, times 10 equals 300. Here I have 80 times 50. I'm going to multiply the front two numbers. 8 times 5 is 40. I have 1, 2 zeros. I'm going to tack on the two zeros. The answer is 4,000. And I can do 8 times 10 times 5 times 10 if you'd like to do it that way. I'm going to put the 10 times 10 over here. I'm going to do 8 times 5 over here. 40 is this times 100 equals 4,000. And then lastly, 5 times 2, so 500 times 200. 5 times 2 is 10. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 100,000. So I could do the other way. 5 times 100 times 2 times 100. And I can do 5 times 2 times 100 times 100. 5 times 2 is 10. And 100 times 100 is 10,000. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. And these together equal 100,000. I need you to try one. Jeremy works at a restaurant. Before he goes home, he counts his tips. And if you don't tip your waiter or your waitress, please start. He received $25 bills, three $10 bills, and 12 $20 bills. How much money did he make in tips? I'm going to get you to pause that and come back when you're ready. All right, he made $25 bills, three $10 bills, and 12 $20 bills. Well, 20 times 5, 3 times 10, and 12 times 20. Uh, I'm going to do the first two numbers. That's a 10 plus the one zero is $100 in fives. 3 times 10, that's just simply $30. And 12 times 20. Well, if I multiply the front two numbers, 12 times 2 is 24, and I add the one zero, 240. So all I have to do is add this up. 
that's his tips. Zero, zero, zero is zero. Zero plus three plus four is seven. And one plus two is three. Jeremy made $370 in tips. I don't know if this is a really realistic question because I really need to be a waiter now, um, but you can see um, the answer here. All right, that's it, folks. You can, here's a, there's some examples here that show how this can work in real life. Money is a good example. And please remember, in life, math happens. Take care, guys.